it's <sighs> the MJ missions. Where do I begin? Right. I heard all the feedback. No, you didn't. We heard all the feedback. Of course you didn't. No, you didn't. And I because they're in the you, game again. I felt like it was a cop out if we didn't have them. I felt like it was a cop out. Perhaps the feedback and criticism Brian Intahar is referring to comes from games journalists like the esteemed Stacy Henley of The Gamer, because Insomniac devoted woman power and resources to changing the game while doubling down on the Mary Jane missions that generated so much criticism that even normies on the handjob advertisement you guys are calling an interview were forced to mention, forced, like how you, Brian and Tahar, forced five Mary Jane portions into this superhero game. Whatever, like who cares about the, the perspective of seeing the world from a non-superhero standpoint. I was like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly. You can have a scene where we see the world from other people's perspective. You don't need five playable portions with Mary Jane and then another playable portion with the deaf girlfriend that graffitis about racism. You don't and need said, it. No. We're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna do, do it. it. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're we're gonna look at the criticism. We're gonna, I know they don't like it, and we're gonna do it because it would be a cop out to not do it. We're doing it. We're doing that. We don't like that when you do that. I know that you don't like it. We're doing it. It would be a cop out to not do it. I felt like it was really important to what to prove that we could make them better. Right. Well, some people might not like them. I understand that. Some people may not like them to the point where we even put her playable at the beginning of the last mission. And I think, dude, it's like. These people were fighting the story the entire way to make it about MJ. Every fucking scene, these people were like, but how can we work MJ into this? I do. I do. I mean, I, I think how you, I mean, I, I do. I mean, give people stuff you know they want so you can inject things yeah. that maybe they aren't familiar with or maybe they don't know they want, but make them like that stuff. What happened, my nigga? What they don't know they want? <laughs> Can you imagine talking to a woman like this? You have to give them what they actually want. You're aware of what they actually want. So you can slide in something they don't know they want. You're on the right side of history. Injecting, as you say. Like you injected all that woke cringe into Spider-Man 2 and all these fucking walking portions and bike riding, deaf black girl virtue signaling that you're removing for the version of the game where you actually want to make money, you're rewriting another culture's language with your racist ass. Brian Intahar. Me is, I'm, I'm always scared. I'm like, am I gonna offend somebody? Am I just- You have offended us, Brian Intahar. This is really important to me. When I sent out the review codes, I said, hey everybody, play that Haley mission. Hey guys, play this Haley mission. Hey, when we sent out the, you know, the review code, um, I wrote a little letter. Yeah. Who knows if anybody read it, but I, I, read it. I was I'm like, ready. I was like, I so want to go, just please play the side content. And I think I- It was really important to this creative director. I love Coney Island, but I would say qu the Queens mission where they went back to Midtown High is very similar. What yeah, the like, fuck? Riding the Cause it's life is strange. And like doing the flashbacks and meaning like running through the hallways and stuff. So okay. um, I think it's just, I don't want to make these games if we don't do those missions. I don't want to make these games if we don't do those missions. I like I was adamant like I want that Queen's mission. I want that going back. I want to go Midtown High. Riding I want to see riding the bike. We're having a studio huffing its fart so fucking hard in its echo chamber that they've convinced themselves that rewriting another culture's language is not racism. We spend so much time in missions and features that like where they're in the suit, right? And you're doing oh smart you think God. there's very little outside of one part in the gym. Okay. You're not really doing a lot of Spider-Man stuff at all. So, you have to create a whole mission around that so in the future games i'm gonna double down and there's always gonna be sequences like this because if it wasn't gonna be in the game i'm not gonna make it you're not gonna make your fucking life a strange bicycle riding sequence or a fucking superhero game suck your own mother fucking bitch stop sucking the farts out of thank you how are they this proud of being able to ride a bike in a superhero game because it's stupid because it's a subversion their goal is to subvert the same way the Witcher casting director comes out and admits, what we want to do, bro, challenge people's standard. Challenge. You're starting to hear these words like you haven't before, but it's important that you hear these words and understand what they need to do. They need to take what you do think 
and change it. My videos sound lame because they're melodramatic and I'm aware, but I choose my words carefully. And the more time passes, the more true the things I'm saying are going to appear because some of us are waiting for you to catch up. For us, it's not just about showing the world from Pete and Miles' perspective. It's Why? Why isn't it a... I'm going crazy. MJ is a really important character to me because I do think she provides a perspective on a viewpoint of the world that you get, you need to see from the... from. You know, like Pete and Miles, obviously. Nigga, nigga, how much cocaine are you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Oh, MJ's really important because what? Oh, this is crazy. And then there's a moment in the game where he goes, Why would the city need me? <laughs> Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? And then he said to Mary Jane, The city needs you, Mary Jane. The city needs you. I need you. Your dreams are just as important as mine. I never want your life to be worse to make mine better. The city needs you, Mary Jane, and your books you don't write because you're working for a man you despise because I'm forcing you to do that. I'm not Larry Fink of BlackRock. I'm not a bunch of lady writers self-inserting their garbage into a fucking Spider-Man game that I bought because I thought Spider-Man would be in a game, but in fact, it's five Mary Jane portions. Holy shit. Remember your book? You said you want to help people. Nobody read it. Uh, I write words I don't believe in for a man. I didn't realize. I'm sorry, MJ. I was wrong. You're right. I've been selfish. I'm so wrapped up in my own life. I never thought about yours. I've been fucking... I've been duped. I'm the sucker in this fucking scenario. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. I have this STD now. I would not have consented to the sexual abuse. I would not have paid you to play Mary Jane five times in my superhero game that I thought I was buying. Oh my god, I bought a ticket to Blade and it's all fucking women? What's happening? Life lessons of- wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, stop. It's the Mr. Krabs picture? Yeah. It's showing it from all of our characters' perspectives. Wow. That's why wow. MJ is there. That's why we show MJ. The symbiote attaches to her and makes her a comic book villain all of a sudden. And now for the longest phase fight of the game, she is going to lecture, dude. Because we haven't already been getting lectured. When the game was pulling in the direction of the other Spider-Man already, it needs to be more about this woman that looks mysteriously more like a writer than she does the face actress that y'all aged up over 10 years. Foolishness. Give people the stuff you know they want so you can inject things yeah. that maybe they aren't familiar with or maybe they don't know they want, but make them like them don't know they want stuff. so what you just articulated is you're going to dangle the things that people want just to get them to shut up and then put in all this cringe shit that you know people don't like but your message your agenda demands it every every single person on the team loves Haley. Congrats. every single person and they just wanted to do it i wanted to write a note going please play the Haley mission just please play that because i was I am really, really proud. That, again, that's an example of like, there was not, at the beginning of, that, of development, there was no Haley mission. There was no, Way. no Haley playable. Like, that's all extra work that the team was like, we feel really passionate about. That's all extra work that the passionate team wasted their time on in this superhero game. Oh, I knew that she wasn't, those missions weren't the fan favorites. Um, coming out Isn't that very strange? Isn't that interesting for him to just softball in there? He knows that they weren't fan favorites. So let's see what the direction he's going to take here is. Is he going to force the women in there like a Blade movie? We're going to... We've talked about this showing the world from all different angles. We're going to... We're going to... Make her moments better. We're going we're gonna to make her moments better. I know there's a group of people that just like, oh, I want more superhero stuff. Well, yeah. Well, being a hero just isn't being in the suit all the time. It's oh, being, you know, it's oh, being a good person. Oh, you know, and being, and connecting to your thanks friend, for your the family. life lesson. Oh, being a hero isn't just about being in the suit all the time. Remember what they said about Blade? That's why Maharsha Ali wouldn't, you know, and they're having it's in development hell with different directors and writers. And oh, there's an incarnation of the script where Blade should be led by women not one not two but three women relegating him to the fourth fucking lead in his own movie titled blade you know that the draw is spider-man but you decided 
that it's not about being in the mask and being a hero. And I know that there's going to be a group of people, but I don't care what you think. This is about my message over what you want in your game. Instead of playing as a superhero, you will be playing as Mary Jane one, two, three, four, five times. And Mary Jane gets to turn into a boss that she normally wouldn't be in the comics, but we make the story. So she's going to be the boss and she's going to have the most phases of, of the bosses in the game so that the writers can really say some cringe therapy bullshit like a She-Hulk writer. And then we're going to have Peter Parker apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Miles, you're Spider-Man. Why does the city need me at all? I'll kiss you. I'll kill this other white man because he's dangerous. I'm Spider-Man. I am Savior Jesus Christ, Miles Morales, and I cut my, my mask open like a tin can so my fro can come out. So you know I'm the black one and I'm the good one. But I'm going to take off my mask and show my black face and my electric power so I'm bring him back to life quick time event <clears throat> do it again <clears throat> now harry is alive but not really alive like in a coma state in case we actually need him which we probably won't we'll only bring him back in case something goes wrong with this franchise in which case we'll actually bring people people like like robert downey jr in the mcu i think i'm i'm just so thrilled and amused and confused and shocked just blown away like how much farts, how much old lady fat bitch farts you gotta be fucking smoking in your in your shitty little studio where we thought that you, that's the comedy and that's the biggest insult that I could offer is that anyone was operating under the belief that you posers could come close to a Batman Arkham game. They'd like a comment of like, this is some of my favorite stuff because I was like, oh, wow, this is my favorite stuff right here, man. Like the Spider-Man game where you're like Spider-Man stuff. Okay, yeah, but this life is strange shit, bro. Oh, dude, I was playing as this black girl and she was deaf and they took the, the audio away. Like, oh my God, like you're deaf for real? And I sprayed graffiti and then it was like a B-I-P-O-C moment representation. And I put my fist in the air and I stood up in front of my TV. And the Sony patent needed me to say the word be b people of color before it would continue. You know, normally it's like a quick time event where you press the buttons. But in this scenario, we were listening to you through your PlayStation controller. And the PlayStation controller demanded that you say people of color. I stand by them. I'm black and I think this is lame. Lame as fuck. Make it my fucking lame. Hunter, want to get your train game on? If not, we can talk a minute. Everyone tells me I've got the gift of gab. How's your mental health? A good portion of this darkness hunting game is mental health and processing intense situations. Dude. Everyone tells me I've got the gift of gab. Blade just said that to me. How is your mental health? 